Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most mysterious and ambitious developments in modern military aviation, Israel's secret engine breakthrough for its future six-generation fighter program. For years, Israel has relied on advanced American and indigenous technology to build an air force that is considered one of the most capable on Earth. But behind closed doors, Israeli engineers, defense officials, and aerospace innovators have been quietly developing something that could fundamentally reshape how fighter jets fly, fight, and survive in the next generation of warfare. This story is not just about stealth aircraft or high-tech weapons. It's about the engine at the heart of the entire system, an engine that could give Israel an unprecedented leap in power, maneuverability, range, and multi main synchronization. For most people, when they think of six generation fighters, they imagine futuristic jets with invisible radar signatures, drone, warming networks, AA-powered cockpits, and hypersonic weapons. And yes, all of these are critical components. But none of them matter if you don't have an engine that can actually power such systems. Israel's latest project, kept extremely secret and rarely discussed publicly, focuses on a revolutionary propulsion system that may combine next-generation turbofan efficiency, partial hybrid, electric capabilities, and advanced thermal management. The reason this matters is simple. Fifth-generation jets like the F-35 pushed engine technology to the edge of what is physically possible. The next step requires changing the rules entirely. Israel understands this better than anyone. Surrounded by threats, operating in tight airspace, and relying heavily on air dominance, Israel cannot afford to be one step behind. The Air Force already operates the F-35 Iadir, a heavily customized variant with its own electronic warfare systems. But Israel's future fighter must do far more. This new engine is said to enable sustained supercruise, meaning the aircraft can fly supersonically without using fuel, hungry afterburners. It is also believed to support extreme agility at both high and low speeds, allowing the aircraft to dominate dogfights and evade advanced missile systems. But most incredible of all, the engine reportedly generates enough electrical power to support directed energy systems, high-powered lasers capable of disabling enemy drones, sensors, and missiles mid-flight. One major challenge for six-generation fighters is heat, as jets become more powerful and carry more electronic warfare systems and laser weapons, they generate tremendous thermal loads. If not managed properly, this heat can make even a stealth aircraft visible to infrared tracking systems. Israel's secret engine breakthrough allegedly addresses this with a completely redesigned cooling system that redistributes heat through the airframe and expels it in ways that minimize detection. This could give Israel's future jet one of the lowest infrared signatures in the world, even while running high energy systems that usually produce massive heat signatures. Another critical capability tied to this engine is energy regeneration. Traditional engines burn fuel for thrust, and that's it. But next, gen hybrid systems can harvest, store, and redistribute energy, allowing weapons and onboard processors to run with greater efficiency. Imagine a jet that not only flies faster and farther, but also powers advanced sensors, scans massive areas in real time, and fires laser weapons without draining performance. That is the level of power Israel aims to achieve, and the engine is the foundation of it. From leaked reports and statements made by Israeli aerospace officials, we know that this engine involves new composite materials capable of withstanding temperatures that older metals could never survive. These materials allow the engine to run hotter, meaning more thrust without compromising safety or structural integrity. Some analysts believe that Israel may be developing an adaptive cycle engine similar to the U.S. Air Force's UNGAP program, but modified with Israeli specific technologies. Adaptive engines change internal airflow paths depending on mission needs. In combat, it can deliver massive thrust. In cruising, it becomes extremely fuel efficient. If Israel's engine works this way, it could give its future jet unmatched range, critical for long-distance missions like striking nuclear threats or patrolling vast regions. There is also speculation that this engine is being designed with drone fighter integration in mind. Israel is already one of the world's biggest innovators in uncrewed aerial systems, and its six 
generation platform will almost certainly operate with loyal wingman drones. These drones need power, coordination and real-time data, all of which rely on an engine capable of sustaining enormous computing loads. The engine may serve as the power core, not just for the aircraft, but for an entire drone swarm network that follows it into battle. This would allow Israel to overwhelm enemy defenses, extend situational awareness, and strike multiple targets simultaneously with unparalleled precision. While Israeli officials rarely discuss this program publicly, there have been hints. The Israel Aerospace Industries leadership has openly stated that the country cannot rely solely on foreign suppliers for its future propulsion needs. They want independence, flexibility, and custom-built systems that match Israel's unique threat environment. Moreover, Israeli defense scientists have long studied energy, dense fuels, novel combustor designs, and compact electrical generators. All of these technologies may be converging into this single-engine program. One of the most fascinating aspects of Israel's secret break through is how modular the engine might be. Modern militaries want jets that can evolve instead of becoming outdated after a few years. Israel's new propulsion system reportedly allows for upgrades without removing the entire engine, meaning new parts, cooling systems, or energy modules can be swapped or improved as new technologies emerge. This ensures that the jet remains cutting, edge for decades, a critical advantage in a region where threats evolve rapidly. To understand why Israel is investing so heavily in this engine, look at the future of air combat. The skies of tomorrow will be filled with hypersonic missiles, AA-driven drones, electronic warfare weapons, and long-range air-to-air missiles with unprecedented accuracy. To survive in that environment, a fighter jet must combine stealth, speed, endurance, situational dominance, and superior firepower. None of that is possible without a revolutionary engine. Israel wants its sixth-generation fighter to not only detect threats first, but respond instantly, independently, and decisively. The integration of artificial intelligence is another major factor. A sixth-generation jet will use a I to analyze data, predict enemy movements, optimize fuel usage, and even assist in piloting. All of this requires massive power consumption. Israel's secret engine breakthrough reportedly includes additional generators capable of powering advanced AI processors without reducing thrust. This means the pilot can access real-time battlefield analytics, sensor fusion, and autonomous target prioritization even during heist, speed combat maneuvers. Now let's talk about offensive and defensive systems. For offensive capabilities, the engine could allow the aircraft to carry hypersonic missiles that require huge amounts of energy for both stabilization and targeting. Israel is already developing high speed strike weapons, and a powerful engine is essential for launching them effectively. For defensive capabilities, the engine's power output supports electronic warfare systems that can jam or spoof enemy radars, onboard countermeasures that blind incoming missiles, and high powered lasers capable of burning through hostile drones, rockets, or even close range aircraft components. Another significant advantage of this engine is survivability. Israel's future fighter will likely rely on advanced stealth shaping and radar, absorbent materials, but the engine itself must contribute to stealth. Traditional engine intakes and exhausts are major sources of radar return, but Israel is believed to be working on redesigned inlet geometry, special coatings, and exhaust vectoring systems that reduce radar visibility while enhancing maneuverability. The exhaust system in particular may incorporate infrared, dampening technologies to make heat signatures nearly invisible to long-range tracking missiles. This engine also opens up possibilities for extreme short takeoff performance. Israel often operates from small or improvised airfields during wartime to avoid enemy missile strikes on major bases. A powerful, highly efficient engine would allow the jet to take off in short distances while carrying heavy payloads. This flexibility makes the aircraft far harder to target and allows rapid redeployment anywhere in the region. Beyond performance, the secret engine project is also about strategic independence. Israel knows that relying entirely on foreign engine suppliers can become a vulnerability, especially during conflicts when export restrictions or political complications arise. 
By developing its own engine, Israel gains control over its fighter fleet's maintenance, upgrades, and long-term viability. This ensures that no outside country can limit Israel's operational freedom. One interesting aspect of this engine program is how it may influence global partnerships. Some analysts believe that Israel could eventually collaborate with European or American manufacturers once the engine's core technologies are validated. Israel has a long history of modifying and enhancing foreign platforms, but this time it may bring something revolutionary to the table. If the engine proves successful, international cooperation could further accelerate development and integration into future Allied aircraft. There is also a psychological dimension. When adversaries know that Israel possesses a next, generation fighter with unmatched speed, stealth, energy production, and laser-based defenses. It changes the strategic calculus. Deterrence is not just about weapons you use, it's also about capabilities your enemies fear you might use. A six-generation fighter powered by a breakthrough engine sends a clear message. Israel intends to stay ahead no matter what. As development continues, the final design of Israel's six-generation fighter may evolve but the engine will remain the backbone of the entire system. Whether the jet becomes a single, seat or two, seat platform, whether it prioritizes long, range missions or air superiority roles, the engine will determine its maximum potential. It will dictate how many weapons it carries, how stealthy it remains under stress, how far it can travel without refueling, and how effectively it coordinates with drones and ground systems. Even though most details remain classified, Everything we know suggests that Israel is not merely upgrading old technology, but creating something fundamentally new. A propulsion system that blends traditional turbofan mechanics with next-gen adaptive airflow, hybrid electrical support, and unmatched heat management. A system that enables laser weapons, aid-driven sensors, drone networks, hypersonic missile compatibility, and extreme stealth. A system designed not for the past, but for the future of warfare, in the coming years, more information will likely emerge as prototypes begin testing, partnerships form, and defense officials reveal new details. But one thing is certain, the engine is the heart of this entire project, and Israel is determined to make it a technological leap that no rival can easily match.